To simulate interactions between the Southern Ocean and the Antarctic ice sheet, we separate the ocean into hundreds of millions of chunks. A special coordinate system accurately represents the terrain of the sea floor. Using one of the fastest supercomputers on Earth, provided by the National Compute Infrastructure at the Australian National University, we then calculate the exchange of momentum, salinity and temperature between these chunks. Somewhat magically, larger circulation features such as meanders and eddies appear and act to transport and diffuse heat and salinity. The ocean forms internal layers, which we can visualize using surfaces of constant salinity. High salinities are found near the sea floor, while the lowest salinity corresponds to the ocean surface. Here, we color the constant salinity isosurface with a temperature scale to show the thermal gradients. We also remove the surface which is far from the coastline for clarity. Some of the deeper layers feature the highest temperatures and this deep warm water is known to be a great threat for the adjacent glaciers. To simulate the effects of this deep warm water among other water masses, our model resolves melting underneath the floating parts of the ice streams, the ice shelves. The glaciers of East Antarctica are of particular importance as they hold more sea level rise potential than any other region on Earth. Here, large parts are grounded below sea level and intrusions of deep warm water could trigger a rapid runaway retreat. Ocean tides are also an important process. They circulate the continent as large waves and modulate ice shelf melting in many ways. For example, tidal currents directly modulate melt rates by supporting the exchange of heat and salinity right next to the ice. More indirectly, tidal waves inside the ocean can lift deep warm water onto the shelf break and thus closer to the coast. Some of the strongest tides around Antarctica exist near the Filchnerona ice shelf. The meltwater generated here plays a special role as it is involved in the formation of a very dense and cold water mass. Ultimately, this water leaves the continental shelf and spreads as Antarctic bottom water along the seafloor of the global oceans. Interactions between the Southern Ocean and the Antarctic ice sheet impact global sea levels and climate. Realistic simulations like this can help us to better understand the involved processes and improve predictions of future change.